Hello everyone, Ben Sterling here from Reds Racing Australia. Just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an insight into the new Reds 721 Scuderia and new X1 pipe to suit the new motor. Uh, the last weekend was the first opportunity I had to finish the braking on my engine, uh, along with obviously the first uh, 12 or so tanks. And what can I say man, the, the overall first feel of the engine was just phenomenal. One of the biggest things I noticed straight away was uh, the bottom end feeling of the engine. Um, as you, if most people know now, it's a, a seven port engine, so same as your WR7 uh, diamond motors. Um, and they were good down the bottom, um, very drivable, usable power, um, and they sort of come on really strong in the mid to top end. Um, whereas the, the 721 I could feel straight away, it had the bottom end feel of a, a five or even a three port motor. Um, so that's, that's something we've definitely been looking for with um, the Reds engines and um, I think we've definitely found it with this new engine. Um, obviously some of the, the differences between the, the new engine and the old engine was um, obviously completely new design from the ground up, uh, all new crankshaft, new crankcases, um, new cooling head, um, new head button, uh, new angled exhaust, part, uh, exhaust port. So really for anyone thinking that it's just the same engine uh, slightly changed, it is actually a completely new engine from the bottom to the top. Uh, the, the, the angle of the carby's been changed, the actual carby's been changed as well, so compared to the previous Reg motors, uh, they were all a plastic uh, cast case um, or body, uh, whereas the new one is uh, all aluminium, the whole thing. Um, so again, this, this should offer a more consistent tune, um, better stability in the idle, um, and obviously last longer so to save any possible air leaks whether the plastic molds to the aluminium um, and stuff like that. Um, my first thoughts of the engine as soon as I pulled it out of the case, uh, out of the box, a famous Reds motor with the, the awesome looking head on it, uh, awesome new graphics on top of the, the head as well. Uh, sits a little bit lower compared to previous Reds engines, um, I think maybe like a, a head um, fin lower. Uh, so obviously to get the, the center of gravity down a little bit and it also hangs a lot further over the, the body of the crankcase as well to, to dissipate, uh, help dissipate the heat through the crankcase. Um, so obviously the, as I touched on before, the, the initial feeling on the engine on the track was the bottom end feeling that it had. Um, it obviously has this, your typical seven port top end and it just wants to scream and keep pulling in the straight. Um, I'll post up a video yesterday and I'll post up another video today um, along with this video of some laps I did around our um, track up here in um, Australia um, and it, show, it really shows the, the true um, power of the engine out of the corners. You can just hear the, the engine just scream um, and really sort of wheel spin tyres. So obviously on a high grip track it's just going to be phenomenal. Um, one of the biggest things with the new Reds motor was uh, the run time uh, out of the motor. Um, you can see all the people from around the world that are testing these motors, they're getting um, high nines um, and also low 10 minute runs. Um, and to be honest, I can vouch for that. Uh, it's very rare for me to get over eight and a half minutes or even eight minutes on a tank of fuel. I'm just very trigger happy. Uh, I love coming out of the corner and just mashing the throttle and, and getting the, the motor to get on the pipe. Um, whereas this one, I just drove it exactly the same. And um, my 11th tank that I did uh, yesterday I got 9 minutes 34 um, and I could feel the motor sort of starting to loosen up a little bit more as well so I went a little bit leaner again um, and then went out for the 12th tank and yeah got into I think it was a 10 minutes 12 and 94 so um, very very happy with that um, I just can't wait to try it on some more tracks and do some more testing with it to try and make sure it's going to stay at the 10 minute mark every single run um, and if so it's going to be great for me for qualifying um, and if I can drop that extra pit stop in the, the hour-long mains in our national series, it's um, yeah, going to be great. Um, for anyone that's interested in buying the Reds Motors, um, MMI, Model of Motorsports International, is the uh, importer in, here in Australia. Um, so contact Darren down there and he can lead you in the right direction. <laughs>
Feel free, feel free to comment um, or send me a message and I'm always happy to help you. Thank you.